Hey, are you tired of the nine to five grind and find yourself daydreaming of financial freedom and exotic vacations? Well, it's time to put on your cape and unleash your inner real estate tycoon because today I'll be your personal guide through the thrilling world of starting a profitable real estate investing business while working full time at something else. So you ready to discover your hidden potential? I got five things for you that will do just that. Let's go. First things first, let's tackle the fear because this is a scary proposition for most taking those first steps from a steady paycheck to a new life of freedom and unlimited income potential only because it's unfamiliar though. You see, you're entering your own personal uncharted waters. I get it. There's a bright side to this, however, when considering a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. And if we face those stormy waters together, it'll be even easier on the nerves as we build a rock solid foundation for your real estate empire. That fear can be further reduced by diving into real estate information and education. And there's a bunch of it available. You know, whether that be books, podcasts, online courses, YouTube videos, there's more than enough to give you some insight, build your confidence and develop your vision. You'll want to know though, before you get too deep into educating yourself, that there are a million ways to make a million bucks in real estate, but you only need one. I say that because it's real easy to get into information overload and be absolutely paralyzed by everything that you've just learned. You don't want to do that. Further, you don't need to know everything before taking some action. Dr. Martin Luther King famously said, you don't need to see the whole staircase to take the first step. Now, I doubt he was talking about real estate when he said that, but that advice would certainly apply if he were. Second thing, and this has to do with what I know what you've been thinking about for a while, likely have been. How can I juggle my job and real estate investing without losing my sanity? I ain't got enough time. Hey, no problem. With a little bit of time management wizardry, you'll be able to balance it all like a pro. Start by utilizing the spare time that you have to research properties, analyze deals, and network with other investors. You know, work breaks, lunch, TV time and weekends. Pretend you're a time management ninja, stealthily seizing every opportunity to advance your real estate knowledge and skills. It's really all about just setting priorities and embracing the time-honored wisdom that if it doesn't get scheduled, it doesn't get done. So do that, schedule it, create a schedule and let it be your guiding star, leading you towards your real estate dreams. Consistency, commitment and discipline will be your secret weapons in the battle against the mundane nine to five life you're trying to escape. Both success Successful people and those who struggle aren't fans of discipline, by the way. However, the successful ones push through their dislike, driven by the unstoppable force of their dreams. So when you reach those moments when you feel like quitting, remember why you started in the first place. Third thing, Navigating a world away from your comfortable nine to five, that can be daunting, but with the right mentor by your side, you'll be unstoppable. You know, a mentor is like your personal Obi-Wan Kenobi, guiding you through the galaxy of real estate investing. And don't underestimate this, or even worse, disregard it completely. Sarah Blakely, you know who she is? Let me tell you, she was selling fax machines. You remember those? She was selling those when she decided that she wanted to leave her corporate job to create a new type of undergarment for women but she had no experience in fashion or manufacturing. So she sought out a mentor and through massive action and determination, she connected with Richard Branson. And thanks to his guidance, Sarah launched Spanx and became a billionaire. And the same goes for many of the real estate moguls that we know and love. Yeah, real estate is no different when it comes to mentors. Steven Ross, you know him? Yeah, the real estate mogul behind some of the world's most iconic projects, including 18 million square feet of commercial and residential space in New York City. Talk about building big. Steven was mentored by Robert Tishman. And Jeff Sutton, the real estate tycoon who bought enough discounted retail space in New York and converted them all into some of the city's most prime properties. That made him a mega billionaire. And he learned the ropes from Stanley Chera and Donald Bren, the real estate developer, developing massive communities for decades, including the iconic Irvine Spectrum in California. He was mentored by Arthur Rudolph. So if you wanna go further and faster, seek out your very own real estate Jedi master. Local meetups, online forums, RIA meetings, those are all good places to start. And if you want to discuss what that type of relationship looks like here at Epic, head over to reiace.com. Answer a few easy questions, pick a convenient time for us to hop on the phone, and then we'll lay it out for you. Although you can, you don't have to make this journey on your own. I mean, imagine if Sarah Blakely chose that path. We'd still be living in a world where guys have to play the does this dress make me look fat game on date nights. Your mentor will be an important part of your support system, cheering you on every step of the way. With one, it's infinitely easier to conquer your fears and achieve greatness. 
fourth thing, and there's one more after this, but the path to the amazing opportunity ahead and overall success is to take massive determined action. You see the imbalance of too few homes and too many people, that imbalance that exists today presents one of the greatest entrepreneurial opportunities for the average person over the next 10 to 15, maybe even 20 years. Now, depending on when you're watching this, it might not feel like that at the moment, but that dynamic exists. Investing in real estate the right way it's like the gold rush of the modern age, and you have the opportunity right now to stake your claim. With your newfound knowledge, a solid plan, and the support of your mentor, you can navigate the real estate world without taking unnecessary risks either. Fortune favors the bold. It loves to give high fives to the daring, but with a solid game plan, even the timid can sneak up and snag a fist bump of success. So don't let the small stuff stop you. And it's all small stuff, by the way. Toss caution to the wind a bit, plug into a proven process, and leap into action. The world's your oyster. And when would right now be the best time to crack it open? Last thing, as you embark on this exciting journey, stay positive, stay committed, and stay open to learning. Celebrate your wins and learn from your mistakes. Just like every superhero has their origin story, your real estate journey will be filled with epic triumphs and valuable lessons. So embrace the adventure with consistency and persistence and a little bit of patience and witness your dreams away from the nine to five become your reality. You are the hero of your own story. As you venture forth into the thrilling world of real estate investing, Remember that you have the power to change your life and create a legacy that will be remembered for generations to come. Because we all have two lives. And the second one begins when we realize we actually only have one. I mean, were you really put here on this earth to just work and pay bills? Because life, it's getting a little weird right now. I mean, I see it kind of like a game of Jenga at the moment. You never know when it's going to come crashing down. So you might as well take a risk, make a bold move, and live like a rock star while you still can. Worst case, you got to live a bit. Best case, you're a rock star. If you found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. I make videos like this each and every week. In fact, maybe you'll like this one I made recently. I pulled it out special just for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.